Tell us about um, the software, the tools that are available for running quantitative risk assessment. Um, although understanding the foundation is very important, uh, all of us know without having a tool, it's not possible. So um, give us some available tools on QRA um, that people can consider. Okay, so I guess the, the, the probably the, the biggest brands and most important kind of risk software at the moment, we have kind of Safran Risk, which will do kind of integrated cost and schedule risk analysis. We have Acumen Risk, which will do fairly similar. Uh, we have an eight as well, which again does cost and schedule analysis. And then we also have kind of Palisade at risk, which you can use for schedule analysis, but it's predominantly used for kind of cost risk assessments, kind of reviewing estimates. Uh, ultimately, which one you pick will kind of depend on what you're doing and what your kind of organization's kind of strategy is. Uh, most of these organizations will give kind of free demos and will kind of demonstrate essentially how the software works and then you can make a decision for yourself, I guess. And uh, we also get this question a lot from the community based on the webinars and resources we have shared on this topic. And the question is uh, really, I'm, get, I'm interested in getting into QRA, but my company doesn't have at the moment any software um, that I can run QRA on. How can I best learn quantitative risk assessment uh, without pushing my organization to really invest in a software? Okay, so I guess. If QRA software is not available, uh, there's no reason why you can't run qualitative risk assessments to begin with. I know it can be difficult to get organizations to commit to buying software when they don't see an immediate benefit, uh, for example. Uh, implementing QRA can require a cultural shift within an organization, so it's important to view it as a journey with several steps. And I think the most important step is the first one getting your organization to have a process to identify and manage risks, typically through workshops. And you can almost view this as a project health check where you regularly review the project schedule, estimate and risks. Once you have that process established, it's much easier to take the next step into analysis. We have all these risks identified. Wouldn't it be great if we could use this to inform our project contingency or give certainty on our finish date? In terms of developing your skills within uh, various QRA softwares without actually having the software. Uh, many software providers, for example, Safran, Palisade, will give you a free download, which you can use for a month or multiple months to kind of learn the skills. Uh, and then I guess you can, you can apply these if and when you need them. Uh, but I think not having the software shouldn't stop you from developing a risk process. It's just, as I've mentioned previously, it's just one of the steps in a quantitative risk assessment. You can still identify all the inputs and you can still report the outputs. You just can't do the actual analysis, but you can still rank them. Okay. Um, I really like the point that you've addressed that um, the software shouldn't be an obstacle for you on learning uh, how to do that. And I really like the practical uh, strategies that you as suggested on how they can get started. So yeah, of course, the demos would be a very good uh, way to practice, but you brought up some very practical strategies on how to implement that on an organization that doesn't have software. So hopefully by going through the strategies that you've offered, they see the value of running this and they invest in um, software, related software. So thank you so much, Richard.